Hello everybody, it's the Tech Tipster here again, and today we're going to look at installing Kodi or XPMC, whichever you prefer to call it. Last video I gave you an overview of what Kodi does uh, and a few of its features. Today I'm going to show you how to set it up on your system, and it's pretty straightforward and this should be very quick. So what I want you to do is open your browser, go to Google and just type in Kodi. Alternatively, you can navigate to its URL, which is Kodi.tv. But it's just nice to go through Google because everyone uses Google. And we have a direct link to the downloads page, but we'll go to Kodi.tv first. So click that. So now we're on the Kodi page, and um, what we're going to do is go to downloads. And once this loads up, we're going to see that Kodi is available for a wide variety of platforms. We've got a Windows, which we're going to do today, but we also have Linux, Raspberry Pi. Uh, we've got an Ubuntu standalone version and we might look at doing one of those installs in a future video but today we're just going to do a Windows installation. Now you'll see here stable release at the moment Kodi 14.1 is the latest version. If this is uh, the future for you this could be a different version so stable release is always the newest version and that's what you want to download so choose your platform. I'm going to choose Windows and there we go we're going to download that. Once it's downloaded locate your download file Double click that, click run. Now, once this opens, it's as simple as clicking next. All the default selections are what you want to install in these options. So we'll just click next. If you have a different directory which you would like to install into, change that here. But we're just going to go with the defaults. Now let that extract, shouldn't take longer than 20, 30 seconds. And it's as simple as that. Now we're gonna have Kodi on our computer. And let's go straight to running it, run Kodi, finish. Now here we are. Kodi in its default form is very basic. All it can do is really play videos, music, so it needs a bit of setup to turn it into a program that we're going to use on a daily basis. Now, if you want to learn how to do that and turn it into what you saw in the last video, just skip it to the next video and we're going to go through installing some of my favorite add-ons. Thanks, guys.